For this video, what we're going to do is have a look at resetting the score if our player dies in a level. So I'm just going to show you an example of how this works. I'll go along here and collect a few coins. And as you can see at the top of my game here, my score is going up as I collect the coins. So I'm on 12 points at the moment, now up to 14. If I get hit by the bird, I die. But my score stays the same, so I can just keep on dying after I collect all these coins and my score will just keep going up and to get top of the leaderboard on the high score menu is pretty easy if that happens so what we want to happen is when we get hit by a bird we want our score to reset to what it originally was when we began that level okay so I'm going to close off Game Maker here now and I'm going to open up my object boy so whatever game you're using whether it's a new game you're making for this tutorial or you've decided to open up a previous game open up your main character okay. and the first thing we want to do is add in a new event Let's stretch this out a little bit and the event we want to add in hides under the other menu so go to other and we're going to go to room start so when we load up our level what we're going to do is go to our control tab now and go to this first VAR option we're going to set a variable that variable is going to be called room start score okay, and the value of that is going to be our score so when we start the room game maker is going to check our score and note that down okay that's all that's saying straight after that we're going to set one more variable to pass level and we're going to set that to false okay the only way that we can pass the level is by hitting the finish sign so when we do hit the finish sign this will change to true. Okay, we're going to set that in just a moment. Okay, so that's all we need to put in the room start option. We're going to set our room start score to score. So that's our current score. And we're just going to see whether we've passed the level or not. Okay, and at the moment it's set to false. Okay. So after this, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to our collision with the finish line or the exit sign, whatever you've got in your game. And from here, what we need to do is set another variable. So I'm going to go to this option here where we set a variable. And we're going to set the variable pass level to true. Okay, so when we hit the finish line, we've passed the level. So that pass level we previously set to false will now change to true. And once you put that in, I want you to drag it up the top. It must go at the top of this box before all the other events. Otherwise, it won't work for every other level. Okay. And the last event we need to add in now, so let's go add event, choose other, it's going to be room end. Okay, so when we finished with the room, what we're going to do just here is we're going to test a variable. Okay, we're going to find out if we've actually finished the level by hitting that exit sign. If we just hit a, like an enemy and we die, then we haven't finished the level. Okay, we need to make sure that we've finished the level before our score calculates and adds up to its previous score. If we die early, then we don't want to add that score on just yet. So what we're going to do, let me check the room and we're just going to see if we have actually passed the level. Okay, so if we have not passed the level, then what we're going to do is set a variable. So click on that first VAR, we're going to set the score to the room start score. So when we first began our level, that's what our score will go back to if we just die. Okay. If not, it's just going to continue adding up our score because we passed the level by hitting the finish sign. So that's all we've added in. We've added this room start stuff in. So we've when we start the room, we check our score and note it down. And we set pass level to false because we haven't finished the level just yet. When we hit the exit sign, then we change past level to true because yes, we finished our level. We can add our score up now. And when we finish the room, we want to make sure that we've actually finished legitimately by hitting the finish line. If we just die from an enemy, then past the level will still be at false. Okay, so we set the score back to our original starting score and we click on OK. A little bit confusing there, I'm not very good at explaining that, but as long as you've got those in, it's going to work. So let's test our game and we'll see if we can get this working. A 
Okay, so let's go up and collect some coins. You can see at the top of the page here my score going up. Okay, if I die by hitting a bird, my score will just reset and go back to zero. Okay, let's try this on level two. So as I hit this finish line, you'll notice that my score is 44. So I'll just go through to the next level. Now, if I get hit by a ghost, my score goes back to 44. I can collect some coins. My score's on 52 now. Still going up to 60. I hit a ghost and my score resets to back what it was when we started the room. Okay, cool little feature to have in your game to make sure no one's cheating to get the highest score on your high score menu. That's all, so you can save that up in your games.